right there where it says California's Fash in two different signs and what is now closed. That was the Soul Kitchen. Soul Kitchen, Simply Cheese, played uh, quite a few times when I was in 12th grade in 1995. Uh, the stage is on the right. The other part, there were some couches going along that wall. There were some couches going along the right side wall. Uh, Jonas Grumby's Honolulu Pimps played there. During the Simply Cheese era of bands I was in, at one point we had a three foot long sticker and we put it directly above the stage and it stayed there a uh, couple months. It's pretty hilarious. Who did I see there? I saw Good Riddance there. Good Riddance, freaking awesome live. Um, it was during the In God and Country era of Good Riddance. Um, I saw Blink there before they were Blink-182 by a bit. And they were just as boring live as they are now where they just stand there and like play. And I think one of them does a little jump every once in a while. The thing is when it's on that stage, which is probably about 10 feet wide, it's a good show. When it's on a massive stage, like down at the amphitheater in Chula Vista, that I used the transporter to get into, boring. Boring. I saw G Spot, which we renamed Check because they kept wanting to have a sound check, so they go Check. Check. Not not regular ska stuff like no, none of that. Check, check. Microphone one check. You know, so horrible. Um, next to it was the Levi store, and it went Soul Kitchen, Levi store, F Street, and I believe Thrill, thrill Seekers over there. That was uh, two stores. Now this two-story place up there, that two-story place, the bottom level was the guitar store and the top level was where the guy who owned this block lived, I think. I know, I know he was up there and I know he owned the guitar store. And I mean, the rest of it, it definitely wasn't this cool at all. Um, not at all. There was none of this like curb cuts for this type of parking. Parking was horrible. Um, one time out in front of Soul Kitchen, uh, Super Rich had a garage sale and I bought a pair of jeans. One time, Bigger Bruce and Brandon came and watched me in 95. There's a bunch of shows there. A bunch of shows. I have pictures of a Jonas Grumby show. Me and Truth and Gabe Salas and me. Gabe was playing bass and Brett Holm was playing the bar baritone. He's playing the big ass sax. We were all wearing like Hawaiian shirts and sailing type stuff. Like Brett Holm had a Navy sailor's hat, you know, the Dixie cup. I can't see the jail from here, so I'm going to go down the street a little bit. 